a Mexican holiday plus an Irish pub equals one awesome car show. Welcome to a special car show edition of Your Par. We're in Lafayette, Indiana with Zach Smiley and his show, which is titled Cinco de Mopar. And how many years have you been running the Cinco de Mopar I've show? I've been running this seven years. Okay, and it's an all Mopar show, all correct? All Mopar, yeah. Um, so what, what kind of inspired you to do an all Mopar show? Yeah, there weren't very many around, and we started off with just four cars. It was just kind of a get together. Okay. And more people heard about it, and they said, you should really make this a thing. So. Right Here now. I am seven years later. <laughs> yeah, and there's, what would you say? Oh, we're probably at 400 cars today. 400, that's a pretty safe bet, I think. You might be a little bet. over that. Yeah. Um, there's amazing group of cars. Mm -hmm. There's a, the Green with Envy Challengers, yep. which holds a special spot in your heart, right? Green with Envy, that's, yep, my dad has one, and uh, limited production, so that's kind of... You know, we met a lot of people through that, so yeah. that helped. And you have eight of them here this year. You eight have a Viper Pit, Viper Pit. Uh, dedicated parking for old school cars, mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome. Yep. And an endless sea of new cars. That's right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and walk through the show and see if I can find some people that are willing to talk to oh, us. There's plenty. Um, I'm sure there are. <laughs> Zach, thank you so much thank for you. having me yeah. and uh, let me kind of walk around no your problem. show. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. So I found something that's a Mopar, not a Dodge. It's actually a pickup truck, and Nathan's going to tell us all about it. Nathan, what do you have? Um, it is a 2014 Ram 1500. Okay, what drivetrain does it have? Uh, the 5.7 Hemi. Okay, and what is it about the Mopar brand that, that you like? Um, I like a lot what they do with the body style in the trucks versus like Ford, Chevy, okay. a lot more sporty style to it. Right on, I get that. And you've replaced your grill and, and done a hood, right? Yep. And you said you did anything under the hood? Uh, just cold air intake, uh, ported throttle body. Right on. Exhaust. Okay, so what about this truck do you love? Um, I mean, it's a 1500, you're not gonna, it's not, you know, one of the bigger trucks, but pretty much all around. Right on, it's a pickup, yeah. right? You can do yeah. whatever you want with it. Basically. And it has, like you said, great styling. Yep. All right, well, Nathan, thanks for being on and enjoy the show. Thanks. So at the very beginning, I was talking to Zach. He said they had some Green with Envy Challengers. I found one, I found the owners. We're gonna to talk to him real quick about it. Ed, Tanya, thanks for coming on. Thanks for chatting with Thank me. Thank you. What, uh, what did we bring out today? 2011 Green with Envy. And how many Green with Envy cars were actually made? 1,592. And this is which level? Um, the, I guess the base level RT Classic model, then they had the SRT 8 model. Okay, and this is the RT, so it has the 5.7. The 5.7 liter. And did you go with a six-speed or a automatic? Automatic. And so, what about the Mopar brand kind of drew you in? I build them for. I build the air conditioners for them. Oh, okay. Well, that's exciting. So. You're you're part of it, right? right? Right. And what about this car? Do you love the color? The color, right? right? One year. This and the Furious Fuchsia, only two colors that were one-year colors. So that's right. pretty and this awesome. This is the only one with one number. Really? Right on. Well, guys, thanks for bringing the car out. Thanks for being on, and uh, let's see what else we can find. Thank you. So we're out in the show field here at Cinco de Moapar. I met up with Ken here. Ken, tell us what kind of car you brought out to the show. Well, uh, this is a 08 Dodge Charger Daytona. It's number 497 of 1650 made. And what uh, color is this? This is a Hemi Orange. It only came in one color this year. Okay. okay. An 08. And what's the drivetrain on it? It's got the 5.7 automatic. Okay. And what, uh, what do you love about the Mopar brand? 
it's just an awesome car the the looks the sportiness uh i've always had great luck with them it's pretty much all i've owned for the last 42 years that's awesome and what do you love about this specific car well i like the looks uh the performance for a 5.7 is just really kind of awesome i mean i've got a diablo tuner going on with this uh, cervini's ram air so uh it really picked it up and so as far as a daily driver got okay. 137,000 on it wow you couldn't tell because you've done a great job keeping up on the car it looks beautiful um and thanks for sharing it with us no problem right, take care can enjoy man. the show oh the show's been great So I've wandered over the uh, old school lot and I stumbled on one of my favorite cars as most of you viewers know I'm an e-body guy mm. we found this one and its owner Terry Terry what do you have here we have a uh, 73 Barracuda uh, 360 60 over mildly built uh, 727 automatic 727 all right right on and uh, what color did you end up painting this well we if we were going to go with the lime light or the sublime whichever and yeah. when we started looking at paints we went a couple shades lighter yeah and uh, the painter named it uh, toxic lime i like it i love so. the color so what is it about the mopar brand that you love just always loved them just they're just big and noisy and bright colors bright <laughs> colors and yeah right on yeah and what about the cuda do you love i just always loved them always loved them right, and uh, we ran across this one about four years ago and uh, took my wife's car over and traded it in. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, Terry, thanks for being on and enjoy the show. Okay, thank you. All right, we're still in the old school lot and we're family cruising with Michael. Michael, what'd you bring out to the show? We brought out the Falbo family car. It'd be a 1971 Plymouth Fury 3. Right on. Four door, four -door. land yacht. It is, that's for sure. You have a, a baseball field to turn this thing around, right? We have a lot to clean when we're cleaning this car. For up. sure. And what drivetrain's in the car? We have a 360 two barrel. Okay. Um, 43,000 miles on oh, it. Wow. Very fresh. Right on. Just had a fresh tune-up. All right. Runs very well. And it's a 727 transmission? Yes, 727 right trans. Would you like to see inside? Oh, that's okay. We'll leave the hood shut for hood right shut. now just because this front end is so cool. I mean, that's something that I don't think you see on any other car, right? This we're, is a one-year deal? We're very proud of this car. As far as I know, it's only a 1971 option. Okay. You don't see them in 70. You don't see them in uh, 72. They look like the Super B type front end in 72. Right on. And. We have a complete front end. We're, we're very proud of it. We've got all the foil stickers on it right. that are supposed to be on there. You don't see those nowadays. Um, we added a few little special headlight covers there. Right on. Really bring it out. Very cool. So, so what is it about the Mopar brand that you love? Well, I was born uh, into Mopar. Okay. Um, our, we had uh, we always had a Dodge Power Wagon on our farm. Okay. And uh, that was our workhorse, and that's my favorite truck. Right on. So I just sticked with the Dodge. Okay. And uh, I've went from one Dodge to the next, just like every other Mopar guy, probably. Right on. And loved every one of them. And what do you love about this car? Um, it's unique. Uh, anywhere we go with this car, well, people don't see it every day anymore. Right. They're not worth a ton of money, but they are rare in the fact that, you know, they were police cars. They've been crushed a lot. You don't see a lot of these parts around the C-body Mopar. Right. Which makes it kind of hard to get parts for it sometimes. Right on. So if anybody knows where I can get parts. <laughs> yeah, hit me up in the comments there below and we'll, we'll get Michael squared go. away. But uh, as far as our family, we love working on this car. We have four boys and a girl. Okay. And uh, you know, we're working on it one piece at a time. We're little boys are learning how to do points and, and uh, change spark plugs and, and just have fun with it. Well, that's awesome. Well, way to keep the, the passion alive with your yes. kids. And we couldn't and wait to get here today. That's fantastic. And, and thanks for being on and thanks for being at the show. My pleasure. So I'm headed home from Cinco de Mopar, and that was my first time to that show, and it was awesome. I mean, about 426 cars there, great weather, uh, just beautiful cars, new and old, uh, and trucks, Vipers, you know, if it was a Mopar, it was there, and it was awesome. So I uh, got to meet some great people, got to interview some great people, 
uh, and it was just it was just a good time. So I'd highly recommend it if you're in the area on the fifth of May, check it out. Maybe make a donation and just enjoy some some awesome Mopars. To everyone that was on the episode, thank you so very much. Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. So. I want to know from you, the viewers now, did you like this episode? Should I try and do another one? Should I never do it again? Comment below and let me know what you thought. Is there a car that was featured on this episode that you're like, hey, I want to learn more about that car? Let me know and I'll do my best to make that happen. Um, follow both Cinco de Mopar and myself, your par, on Facebook and Instagram and see Cinco de Marpar's website for more details on future events. Like always, subscribe so you don't miss your car, your buddy's car, or any future episode. Until next time.